So let's love the game from BMO Stadium in Los Angeles. Klingenberg keeps it in, looking to serve, keeps it low. Now the ball up high, punched away by Anderson. And now they're in these situations. It's been so good defensively in the attack. Vignola! Have yourself a goal, M.A. Vignola! And an advantage and a step toward the postseason for Angel City. They get numbers forward, then quick combination play, and then look at M.A. Vignola. Just gets her head up. I'm not sure she meant it. Looks like maybe she was going to try to cross that into traffic, but instead gets all of it, beats Bixby to the knee. Viola really connecting well. Sparks flying on this side of the field. Cross to the far post, headed, and it's two! Scarlett Camaros doubles the lead for Angel City. That's exactly what Angel City's done. Look at the 3v3 situation. Imsley in the end just lost. Menace. And flicks it over, showing off a little skill now. It's in the box, and McCaskill makes it three. Ambaros makes a move at the near post. Bixby, a bicycle, come on! Are you <laughs> kidding me, Sydney LaRue? This afternoon, one big ball over the top. Camberos beats Klingenberg and then just slows things down, allows the runs to develop, and then just a bit of individual magic, puts Bix Bixby in that position, and then why not? When you already have three goals to your team's name, these are the things that you try, you're, you're Sydney LaRue. Those really is the ball across, a chance for Sagita in the box, and there's the first goal for the Thorns. That is a dangerous ball that she serves into the box. They have runners, and this is the difference maker. She creates so many issues and then pure class. Thompson and Angel City coming the other way. June Endo! Let's hear it for Japan! <laughs> the two Japanese internationals put one away for their respective teams. Well, there's always those moments directly after conceding a goal. Can you be aggressive? Can you go forward? Well, Alyssa Thompson this time Playing the provider, finds Junindo, drives at the back line. Junindo's free, keeps herself wide, exactly where she wants to be to buy herself just a little bit of time, and she's not going to miss from there. First touch, sets her up, gets her head up, and my goodness, that's the second time that Bella Bixby's been beat to the near post. She will not be happy about that, but credit to Junindo. What a finish, and what a...